Hello, I'm ABX Toycat, and welcome back to episode 23 of my TU35 Let's Play. Uh, both those numbers are changing quite a bit, and I guess the first one makes sense, but the second one not so much. Anyway, yeah, in this TU35 Let's Play so far, what I've done is I've built myself a city, or a decent amount of it so far. I've built a couple of houses, and I've even built something to connect the two. It's the boat away, and it's something that I'm pretty sure is unique, at least I haven't ever seen it in real life, and I'm pretty sure I've never seen it in Minecraft, uh, where basically, yeah, instead of having a railway, or a roadway, or something normal like people have, instead I have this kind of boat motor away or a boat away if you will sorry i love that pun too well it's not even a pun it's just a a combination of two words a, a porter monta there's a french word for it but yeah if, if, uh, i really love the term boat away because the coolness of this is that instead of having to have a fixed pathway or you know having to go at sprinting speed instead you can have a boat which gives you freedom to go left to right a little bit not too much, or you'll break the boat, but you can go left to right. And it's also pretty cool, because when you come off it, there's this weird kind of glitch in the way Minecraft physics work, where you just fall, and then you're there suddenly. It's it's very, very interesting, and I think it's it's almost magical in a little bit of a way. Uh, but yeah, we, uh, we've, we've been having some problems with the boatway, and I figured we'd address them in case, and if you have your own boatways you want to start or finish, maybe you should take this into account, because one of the big problems of what I've done so far is I thought three blocks wide would be plenty fine, which, I, I mean, in theory it can be, but I mean, if you make a tiny adjustment, left or right then you have to adjust again or you die and stuff and that's a big problem so yeah we're going to be giving some boatway advice as well as just transport around the, the place in general uh because let's make a bunch of signs by the way as well as just transport around uh you know the city in general because the thing is is uh the right now i have like what's meant to be a path system that's kind of invisible also a lot of what should be the path is just like this and a chicken and a rabbit trying to get along that's kind of cute, actually. But yeah, with that said, a lot of the pathway system is just holes in the ground, and that's not very good. So I figure let's have a proper thing like that. We've got a bunch of sandstone. We're going to be turning it into sandstone slabs, which I only discovered um, as I was about to record the episode. Because I was thinking to myself, like, wouldn't it be cool if there was a sandstone slab? Because uh, I was like, uh, And then I was like, wait a minute, there's a red sandstone slab. I could use that. And then I was wait a minute, if there's a red sandstone one, there's a regular sandstone one. So yeah, we're going to be using sandstone slabs for doing stuff like uh, this, too. Because... I mean, the market still, for instance, is floating above nothing. Also, it's missing one of the, uh, the the arms, so should we do that now? I know this is a different type of fence, but, you know, gotta, gotta have variety in life. I kind of like it. If we have that one be like this, and then this one over here too, it'll seem like it's a deliberate choice. And that's only good, I can imagine. Okay, so... I, I hope it looks... If, if it doesn't look good, it's unique. Because uh, uh, an interesting thing about real life is uh, even though humans like symmetri uh, symmetry when it comes to... I, you know, like faces and um, buildings. Yeah, no, no one likes an asymmetrical building. You, no one actually likes perfect symmetry, like, um, especially when it comes to a face. If you've ever seen a perfectly symmetrical face, they look super, super weird. And that's something that's always been interesting to me. Because in Minecraft, again, people always build 1,000% symmetrically. And that, you know, it, it comes from a good place. I think you do need to have a very decent amount of symmetrical building. But I don't think I, I don't think everything you ever do has to be done symmetrically. And I, the reason for that is again, if you have something too symmetrical, it just looks kind of um, I don't know. The word coming to my head is clockwork, but that's totally wrong. But let's just let's just use it anyway. Like it looks kind of clockwork and like it was just kind of done for the sake of doing it. And you know that's that's not good. It's gonna look like I don't know art or something. So to make something look like art, my my theory I'm gonna come up with right now is you gotta add the tiniest bit of asymmetry. So for instance. Uh, let's make some dark oak wood slabs. So make a bunch of dark oak. Make it into slabs. And now we've got a spare block lying around here, which we'll just put in the hole over there. There we go. Um, but yeah, uh, basically, uh, every, every now and then, we just, just try and add something a little asymmetrical. So if you look at this building, for instance, actually, I think well, these buildings have been symmetrical entirely. And don't don't you think that the, the Toy Cat Tower, which uh, is made from packed ice for some reason, would look a little bit better if there was more random sand? I think it would. Or maybe... Or maybe I'm a little bit wrong on that. But yeah, that's that's a tip I'd always give people in, in anything. Is that uh, even though symmetry is really good, it's one of those things where it's like you can't go too symmetrical or you create more problems than you fix. And yeah, pro, pro tip for life. So uh, anyway, uh, basically, uh, like I mentioned, or I don't know if I have mentioned it yet, but <laughs> the both way has problems uh, with really going too close to the rails. And I figured going around corners is going to be the biggest mess as a result of that. Unless I do the clever idea of, or at least my opinion is clever, of using signs around the edge. And it means that I can fall off the edge if I want to. So I can go over there or I can go over there and there could be something in that direction. Or uh, I can actually cut turn on the corner, which again, it's, it sounds like a cool idea. Let's see if it actually functions as one. So yeah, this is, this is the one side of it. The other side will be here. So we'll actually, so one, wait, it's up one. 
to three, then the other side. Then we remove the things in between, and then we just place signs around the edge, and we just hope everything works. The dream, the the, the absolute dream here, is that what will, ha will happen is, you know, it will just flow around the corner, and it will give me extra room to maneuver around the sides. The the worst case scenario is the water. I know it doesn't flow correctly, because, you know, that, like having water flow on signs, near signs, is something that I can only imagine is going to, you know, come back and stop working at some point. And worst case scenario, that does happen, and everything just goes crazy, and we, we admit that it failed. But let's hope it's not that one. So yeah, transport for Toy Catopia. Uh, still don't know what the official name is of the place. Again, I like the name Toy Catopia, or Toy Cat some Yeah, Toy Cat something with a T, because, you know, I've got a big Toy Cat tower. Uh, but you know, I, I'm, I'm open to suggestions. So if you have any suggestions for uh, what the Toy Cat Town should be named, it's not a Toy Cat Town, it's a Toy Cat City, should be named, uh, please do throw them at me. Uh, well, uh, not literally, but you know, send, send them my way, and uh, we'll try and make something happen about that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to see if, because you can see this should in theory keep all the water out, or we need to place a few more blocks this way. In theory, this should keep the water from going off the sides, but it's going to look very bizarre. Let's see if it actually, one, works, and two, how it looks because if it looks cool then maybe we've perfected the boat away maybe having these sides shouldn't be there but if it's um not that then we should maybe you know re repent our sins or something like that so yeah we're just going to keep on placing a bunch of these over and over again directionally like so oh and it does function around the corner that is very interesting the water flow it seems like it's a problem so far but if we do that should that that, that kind of fixes things almost a little bit <laughs> but yeah if we place all of the blocks on the right Okay, there we go. No, it's just going forwards now. So I don't think... Oh, wait, wait, wait. If I have both sides go in there at once. So, again, this is a problem I need to fix. So let's actually do that now. So place a sign there, place a sign there. We're out of signs right now. And there's a lot of water coming through, so that's a problem. But for now, at very least, the side... It might be too hard to go around. It might not be. There's only one way to find out. And it's doing a live boat away test. So place the boat on. And hope for the best. So, anyway, I was in America for the last week. I think I mentioned it briefly in the Let's Play. Or maybe extensively. Maybe I mentioned it too many times and I should stop. But, <laughs> okay, come on, come on. To, to the right, to the right, to the... Oh, ah, da, da, da. Okay, so, if I go really far into the corner, I can go to the right. But I break my boat and that's not good. But still, it's progress. It's progress. We've we've, we've got to be able to place some... I get, the thing is, is I'm pretty sure you can't place water on the sides of signs. I'll check in case it's like a crouch place thing. Maybe... Regular place. Okay, you can't place water on the side of signs. I am correct. Which means we need to somehow get water into there. And over... Okay, so we, we need to place more signs. We need to place more sides. But for now, let's just uh, let's just kind of plot where this will go. Because this can be fixed in time. Or actually, we'll place signs so there's not water spewing everywhere. And then, then we can fix that over time. Because, you know, so it's an easy fix job. And instead, what we can focus on... So, uh, make some signs. Only three. Probably will actually do. Because, as you can see, it's all coming from one big overspill here. So, one sign here. Oh, it's, it's a lot more than three needed. Okay, so we, we fixed one third of the problem. So we need a bunch more now. I, I prefer not using the dark oak wood for this because, uh, you know, the, the thing about dark oak wood is it's super, super, or at least for me, it's super rare because there's one big place with it and then not really too much else. But yeah, now if we just uh, keep on placing on the other sides and then kind of make it balanced because we got the extra signs anyway. And then we got one bonus sign, which we'll just place on the side here. And it can say, I don't know. Toy cat is yes. That's that's the the definitive way for a sign. So, toy cat. Oh, I'm spelling toy cat wrong. This is why you need to get smart glass, by the way. Which, by the way, so many people like that. Um, like the Xbox One secret videos. And it's like, you know what? Should I do one of these in the future? Toy cat is yes. There we go. That's where you got to place on the side. So, with that said, now we've used up all the signs. We've used up all that. Let's kind of plot where this will go in the future, because I do need to kind of have a overarching plan for this to make it worthwhile. So, I, oh, actually, what I'd like to do. So, why, why is this not working? I'd like to have um. So since there's going to be a railroad on one of these sides, I guess it will have to be the right side now. I'd like it to kind of shoot off and maybe go into the chest so I can have stuff on one side of the other. Oh, you know what? Maybe, maybe not. Let's just, for now at least, just keep on going this way and see where we end up. Or this way, I guess, at the very least. Let's just kind of see where it ends up if we kept, keep on doing this. Because, you know, we do need to kind of make sure it doesn't go past too many buildings too hard. Well, too, too seriously. And we're hitting a cactus right now. Okay, so yeah, we're going right into the unplanned territory. Uh, is just having a half slab knock down a cactus? Wait, wait, so you can't myth bust right li live right now. Will will half slab break a cactus? Because in theory, I mean it should, but because it's a half slab, it doesn't count as a block for a lot of reasons. And it does. There you go. So you can't knowledge for everyone. And if we try to place it, it will just instantly break. Oh, it doesn't actually let you anymore. So yeah, now we can have can a cactus farm using this half slab. We should probably just remove all the cactus. Instead, in fact, should we just go around removing cactuses today? 
because I mean, you know, I, no, I, I like them. They make the desert seem more scenic. So yeah, what we will we'll do now is we'll focus on the road and that's a big thing we want to focus on. So with that said, yeah, I went to America uh, this past weekend. I went to both Boston and I went to uh, New York. The really cool thing about Boston to me is that um, Fallout 4 took place there. So, oh, there's a bed over here. Uh, Fallout 4 took place there, and in a really interesting way, even though Fallout's 300 years in the future, a lot of the monuments are still the same. So, like, I know, the Bunker Hill Monument, or, like, um, the the Old North Church, the one that the railroad live in, except it was the old railroad, too. And uh, it's just, there's so many cool things like that, where it's like, ah, I kind of get it now. Also, I'm wondering, if we put something like a door, we can't put a door in there. I was, like, you can see how there's, like, one potion on the side of the brewing stand, but I have two water bottles in there. I'm wondering if there's, like, a weird way to make something like a water bucket, Seem like it's a potion, but I guess you can't put anything but glass bottles in there. That's kind of a shame. But yeah, um, to, to go back to my original point. Yeah, it's, it was really awesome going to Boston because it was like, I guess it was like historic US because it was one of the first cities. And it was also kind of cool going to um, New York because New York. Okay, so as you, as you can tell by the fact that I'm building a giant city inside Minecraft, I kind of like big cities. It's it's one of the things I am I am rather fond of, uh, as it turns out. Um, but yeah, even in spite of that. Also, we're going to take up all of this... Um, Sandstone, we're going to turn into half slabs, just to kind of save sandstone, or I guess it's a way to turn sandstone into more sandstone. But yeah, we're going to be doing that, using the slabs, making some magic happen. Uh, but yeah, oh, darn it. <laughs> why, why is this a case? But uh, basically, it was really, really cool to go to Boston for that reason, and New York was just, like, mind-blowingly big. Like, I, I've been to biggish cities in Europe before, and I've always thought, you know, it'd be cooler if these were bigger. But the thing about New York is it's just, oh my god, it's like... You know, like, I, I don't know how many, like, streets, but I think it's, like, 11 streets wide and then 100 and something, like, tall. And it just means there's literally thousands of blocks. Uh, I think maybe 200 something streets tall. But anyway, it's thousands and thousands and thousands <laughs> of um, blocks. Also, this looks suspiciously different to the old pathway. I'm not sure why. It could just be because I saw underneath it there and I know the truth. But still, it, it's really interesting. But uh, yeah, New York just kind of blew my mind that way. Because yeah, having so many blocks is just kind of a big mind-blowing thing. Also, there's a... How is there so many of these things just lying around here? Like, I, I guess I shouldn't... Oh, did I did I make this pathway myself on top of nothing? Or, or what went on there? I, I really have no idea why there's so many caves below the buildings. That's probably going to turn into a problem later. But, like with most things in life, you can just kind of put that off for later. Uh, something you can't put off for later, though, is something I, I was thinking about. There wasn't New York-y and... I don't know, the mind blower you like that. Because again, every time I come to talk about it, it's just like, ah, oh, it was, it was, it was big, man. It was, it was really, really big. It's really all, all I can kind of muster about that. Although it was a cool city otherwise. Uh, again, it's, 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 it's so bizarre that New York exists in America, if you think about it. Because even though a lot of people do picture America and they picture New York, most Americans live somewhere like in the middle of nowhere, to put it politely. Like you might live in you know, some random suburb in Texas, or you might live in some random place over there. But yet, in spite of that, you have one of the craziest, biggest cities in the world. And most Americans don't even like cities. And it's, it's kind of bizarre in some ways. And I guess the reason it does exist that way is because most places have, like, old buildings they need to keep. And, you know, for instance, in London, in, in the very centre, there are, like, lots of skyscrapers. But there's also lots of historic buildings that I'm pretty sure can't be removed because, you know, listed status or whatever. Whereas in other country, uh, whereas in New York, I should say, I can't imagine there are too many historic buildings. There. I mean, is there any? I, I I could have just missed them all. I guess I guess the Statue of Liberty is something historic. You, you can't replace that with a skyscraper. But you you get the basic point of what I'm trying to say here. And uh, I think that might be the reason why it's there. Or maybe there's just some craziness going on that I don't know about. Either way, um, I was mind blown the whole thing. And one of the things I was thinking about while I was there, because uh, I spent a lot of time riding from one place to the other, because this. Man, I you, you assume you assume it, the whole place is kind of close together, but like there are like hours of difference between one place in New York and one other place in New York. Sometimes, anyway. Um, but yeah, with that said, so like I'd be spending like a decent amount of time just writing and thinking. And one of the things I was thinking about is kind of perfection, if you think about it, because it's it's kind of a big deal when it. Okay, so we're just gonna dig this way and, until something happens. But it's kind of like one of those. Um, those concepts that we place a lot of value on, like, oh, I'd like to have the perfect house, or the perfect, I don't know, job, or the perfect cat. Does anyone say they want the perfect cat? If you don't, you should, I mean, wouldn't you love to have a cat that would, like, actually listen to you? <laughs> no, but to actually, to, to actually uh, stay back my point, also, we're going to need a new shovel soon. To actually stay on my point, I was thinking about perfection, the way, there's a lot of places in life where we've kind of mastered something, so, um, 
let's let's say uh, let's, let's come, try and come up with a good example. If you think about a video game, you can speedrun it. That's a terrible example, but it's one that's close to my heart. You can speedrun a video game, and there are perfect speedruns where we cannot improve it. We've just done that 100%. That's awesome, and that's cool. But there's there are also a lot of areas. I, I, to make a better example for real life, uh, we've worked out, for instance, that the best way to I don't know have a I'm trying to think of something where we have actually worked out perfection. Have we done it at all? Maybe we haven't. But yeah, there's a lot of areas in life where we haven't even come close to working out like the best. And we just kind of say, yeah, we'll do everything. So the smallest example is if you ever look inside like a store or like a, and if you look at one section of a store, like um, I guess the um, like the chocolate, the candy, se the candy. That's that's the word. That's the word I'm vaguely looking for here. Uh, you'll see there's like a hundred different brands, right? And really, they're all serving the same purpose of like, I want something sweet, I want this. And because everyone has their own preference, I guess, there isn't a perfect one. But I was thinking like, why can't we just, you know, it, it's got to be scientifically possible to kind of master that. In the same way that um, we used to assume that, uh, I don't know, I, I think rubber is something that actually used to be harvested and now we make it, you know? And now, now it's just better to do it that way. Same with a lot of bizarre things. Also, I, I like this road. So now, now we're gonna work out the road over here. I guess again, it'll follow the apartment building, but going this way on the side of the market. Yeah, we'll just we'll go underneath this road, uh, the thing entirely. Yeah, I, okay, I like that. So yeah, it's kind of um. Oh, I, I, I lost my train of thought. But yeah, I was, I was thinking like there are some things like that where we haven't really mastered the perfection. And and then if you think about food, for instance, there are so many different types of food and like everyone has their own preference. But I, I would love it if someday we were just like, so scientists have worked out that the best food is in fact, it's swordfish. That's right. Now we're going to go to the ocean and fish about a bunch of swordfish. And Because, you, know, you know, for instance, we can work out there are best ways to do some things, but we can't work out the best answer to a lot of simple questions. And a part of me thought, you know, what, that's kind of weird. And then I realized, you know what? Maybe that's maybe it's almost beautiful in a way. Maybe not being able to work out perfection is uh, the way things should be. Because you know, like again, there's there's lots of uh, cases where people use that word. But does the, does the word even have an exact existence? Because even when you think about uh, again, the only example I can think of for some reason, and I know this is terrible, is like a speed run. Like uh, <laughs> if if you play for a game with the exact right frames and every frame you make the correct decision, that is a perfect run. But I mean, every now and then we kind of improve on that. What if what if the word perfection has no real, you know, substantial meaning? And it's kind of just like a, it's a concept that never exists in real life. Kind of like, um, uh, you know, magic. Ma magic magic sounds awesome. Wouldn't you, wouldn't you love to have the ability to like shoot lightning? Or you know, re realistically, if you if, if you have the ability to get like one magic spell, a lot of people would pick something lame, like the ability to fly or like the ability to. Uh, maybe the ability to like shoot lightning. Actually, that's a cool one. But realistically, pro tip: this this is my tip I have to give for everyone, just in case it ever does come up, because it's not gonna, but it might. The superpower or the magic ability or whatever you have to pick has to be. Um, it absolutely has to be. Uh, you know, like uh, the ability to like uh, teleport or not teleport, but the ability to change time, like have control over time, because. The thing is, most superpowers are kind of... Most superpowers can be emulated with the ability to stop time. So, for instance, uh, teleportation. If you want to get from one place to another really fast, you can just freeze time and walk it or, you know, run it or use some form of transport, assuming stuff still works when time is frozen. And, uh, you know, what's going to happen? No one's going to notice. Um, the ability to, uh, you know, for instance, like, I don't know, read people's minds. I guess you could go home and break into their house and read their diary. That's kind of like reading someone's mind. Although, actually, you know, I've never actually had a diary, so... I, I, I wish I did have one, because it'd be cool to read what, like, 14-year-old me was thinking. Because, you know, he's, he's like, quite old. No, he's he's quite gone right now. Well, like, I, he's, he, I, I, I'm going to get really confused with this. But, yeah, the point, it'd be really cool to, like, see what insert age here uh, of me thought. So I don't actually have my diary, but most people do. And from what I understand, again, this is from TV shows, which is a terrible way to understand how a concept works. A lot of people do write incredibly personal things in there, which makes me then think... Uh, if that is the case, then you could uh, basically read someone's mind by going home and reading their diary. You could find out their favorite um, type of food, I guess. Could you? You probably could. Uh, <laughs> and you can work out all these sorts of cool things doing that thing there. Okay, so I think we have the road going on this side here. So we'll leave a... Yeah, okay, so we'll make it go straight to the house on the pathway. So remove the dead bush. Probably should shear those up just because I don't think I'll need them. But, you know, they only spawn once and they might have a use one day. But yeah, to go back to uh, what I was saying. Uh, yeah, it would be... Yeah, there's the ability to um, 
stop time is the just it's the most magical thing especially the ability to speed up time even would be pretty powerful in some situations because have you ever been in the case where you're like oh i just need this to, to pass like I've, I've had it so often recently like i was on a six hour flight recently and i was like i just i just want to be on the ground um i had two six hour flights in fact i spent like half a day in the air actually if you think about that like i think it was six hours one way seven hours back so yeah that that was that was that was a lot of time to be spent in the air and would have been pretty handy if i could just the, the the fast forward button of my life and suddenly I'd be there. Or maybe it wouldn't be. Maybe maybe I, I've always wondered like if we did have a fast forward button on our lives where we just blank out and forget everything like would it actually be useful or would people like overuse it and they'd create problems because well you know someone might just be like you know I hate everything. Today I'm just gonna fast forward until the next one. But wouldn't that be terrible in a lot of ways? Maybe or maybe not. <laughs> Who can really tell for sure? Who can really tell for sure? Um, so yeah, this this pathway's been doing pretty well so far. You know, before I just kind of had this mental grid and now there's going to be like a physical one. Which can be really handy for placing future buildings. Because that is something I do want to do. Oh, by the way, uh, so a lot of people, I know I've been all over the place in the, uh, the the talking for this one. But a lot of people have been asking, like, uh, so Toycat, like, yeah, when are you going back to the main Let's Play land? And that is something I do want to do at some point. It's not gone forever. Uh, I haven't decided exactly when though now. But what I, what I do think is a good kind of solution to the whole thing is uh, what I'll be doing is at some point I'll be going back there and it'll be cool. And then this will just become part of the world that I'll work on every now and then. Or maybe I'll just come back here way after that. I don't entirely know. I haven't thought out all the details yet. But that's kind of that right there. So yeah, everything was all over the place in this episode. But we got a decent amount done. We, As you can see, the roadway is one, a lot cleaner here. You can see what it's going to look like everywhere. Like I, I really, really like the way this looks personally. Although really we should. This this should become a part of the pathway too. Let's Let's just do that now. But yeah, I, I really, really like the way the uh, the pathway looks right now. Like uh, it, when it is looking good, or should we, okay, so you know what? Let's let's play some more first. So you can see right here. Oh wait, <laughs> you can see. Yeah, uh, you can see right here. Uh, when when the whole thing is covered in sandstone, it's a very, very smooth kind of feel. And because this is a desert city, technically, and not even just technically, but like physically, it it is uh, you know really satisfying to have this kind of super deserty thing. So. Because we've got a bunch of sand that I probably don't want in sand form. I'm pretty sure I don't want it there anyway. We can turn it into sandstone slabs. And we just kind of give it a look like this. So that's two stacks, I think. Close to two stacks. And then we can just make this happen. So that here's one junction, as you can see, very beautiful. And we can just go over here. And we can just make another one. And uh, we can even take the sandstone away from everything, not the junctions. So that way the only way to get this super smooth kind of texture is through the the railways again haven't entirely thought that one through just think uh, just kind of like a lot, a lot of this has been done just by kind of playing it as we go along and i think in this particular case it's looking pretty good like again with that simple little thing it's just it's so smooth and then you want to follow the pathway up and then you know follow over to here where by the way guess what we're doing the exact same thing except we're missing a few blocks but still super super nice and what i'm going to do is maybe add in sand every now and then for asymmetry or maybe not. We'll have to see how that goes. But yeah, that's um, that's everything I have to share with you for today's episode. Uh, I know I went entirely all over the place with like New York talk, Boston talk. Um, I think I spoke about perfection for a bit, which isn't a thing, I don't think. Uh, and then I, I spoke about which superpower you should pick, or magic power, depending on how the question's phrased. So yeah, that's that's how you, you trick the system, beat the loopholes. And uh, in general, I hope you all enjoyed your day, because I enjoyed mine. Uh, thank you all very much for watching, and goodbye everyone.